Welcome everyone, today we are going to make a silver tree. For this you are going to need silver nitrate, distilled water and a coil of copper. When silver nitrate touches your skin, your skin will be stained black. Therefore I made sure not to touch the silver nitrate. To start off with the experiments, 1 to 2 grams of silver nitrate were added to a beaker. The exact amount doesn't matter as it will look beautiful either way. A small amount of distilled water was added to the beaker to dissolve the nitrate. The reason I'm not filling the beaker in the beginning is that the smaller amounts will be easier to swirl around without spilling the nitrate solution onto my skin. The moment the silver nitrate had dissolved, more distilled water was added. What do you think is going to happen when you lower a copper coil down into the silver solution? When you look closely, you can see that the color of the copper coil immediately changed. It changed from a beautiful copper color to almost black. The stuff you see being formed is actually elemental silver. The silver plus ions from the silver nitrate solution react with elemental copper to form elemental silver and copper to plus ions. You can see that copper to plus ions are being formed because the solution took on a blue color. After an hour of reaction time, we were left with this beautiful mass of silver crystals. It looks solid, but when you swirl the beaker around, you can see that it's more sponge-like. It would be great if it was solid, because when you take it out, you would not end up with this mess, but you would preserve the beauty of the silver crystals. Laboratorium Discounter sent me the silver nitrate for free, so I'd appreciate if you would check out their store, because they have a lot of awesome chemicals. And if you want to support my channel, make sure to use the discount code THYLABS. Silver is valuable and therefore I filtered the solution to keep the silver. For the next experiments, we are going to silver coat some glass. For this we will need ammonia, potassium hydroxide solution, silver nitrate and glucose. A few granules of silver nitrate and a small amount of distilled water to dissolve the silver nitrate were added to a round bottom flask. Next, concentrated ammonia solution is going to be added dropwise. Normally when the ammonia is being added, brown silver oxide should precipitate out. Afterwards more ammonia should be added until it completely dissolves again. I guess I added enough ammonia in the first place and it decided to stay in solution and nothing even precipitated out. Then about 5 ml of dilute potassium hydroxide solution were added. Again a brown precipitate should form but it didn't and afterwards you should add enough ammonia to dissolve the brown precipitate again. I assume there was enough ammonia in the solution to keep the precipitate from even forming, but I'm going to continue anyways. Glucose solution was added and we saw this immediate color change. I moved the camera and then shook the flask for about 2 minutes. After rinsing it with distilled water we didn't get the perfect mirror, but it still looks interesting. It might have been better if I cleaned the flask using acetone before doing the reaction. It looks great, but all great things come to an end, so I dissolved the silver mirror using a mixture of potassium nitrate and hydrochloric acid. Only pure nitric acid will get rid of the silver by completely dissolving it, but this mixture still did a great job. It made the silver stop hanging onto the wall and we ended up with these silver flakes. The reactions taking place are relatively simple. At first silver plus ions react with hydroxy ions to form insoluble silver oxide, which didn't happen in our case because I added way too much ammonia. The silver oxide then reacts with ammonia to form a water soluble complex which later on reacts with the glucose to form elemental silver. One of you had a great idea that I showed the test for silver using chromate. For the next experiments we are therefore going to need some sort of silver salt and sodium chromate. The silver nitrate on the left and the sodium chromate on the right were dissolved in a small amount of distilled water and then they were combined. Red precipitate immediately started to settle out. This is silver chromate. I hope that you liked today's video about silver and if you did, I would really appreciate if you liked and subscribed. I also have a Patreon, so if you want to support my channel, I would also appreciate it, but you don't have to. But more funding is equal to even bigger projects and more interesting videos. I hope that all of you have a great day, until next time.